Now think back to the last time you saw a live performance of any sort. Probably been a while. For one local musician who doubles as a student at the University of Montana, it's been particularly challenging. MTN's Megan Mannering has her story. Crossing through campus with her instrument in tow is 19-year-old Hannah Clemenson. Hey, Hannah. Hi. Other students zip past on bicycles. They hustle to their next destination. Hannah is also in a rush, and her visual impairment, which she's had since birth, does its best to slow her down. But before long, she makes it to the music building, a sacred retreat amid the COVID chaos. Without something to get you through this pandemic, without something to like make you happy, you're just wasting time, right? In a mostly virtual school year, the challenges run rampant for someone with a visual impairment. I've just been trying to have as normal of an experience as I can. But Hannah's tough. She can handle an unconventional school year. It's the impact on live music that's really got her down. So there's like a stereotype that most blind people are musicians. It's really one thing that we can really excel at because like we hear so much different, not that we hear better, but we just hear differently than most people. And uh, for for blind people, music is really like the only thing that is the same for them and for everyone else because everyone hears music and there's no visual accompaniment, right? But stereotypes and commonalities aside, Hannah credits her parents for her love of music. A father who strummed a guitar in the evenings. A mother who always had the radio playing in the car. I just kind of like grew up singing all the time. And then um, when I was really young, like five or six, I started singing the national anthem at like basketball games and stuff, and um, it just kind of grew from there. But it wasn't until she picked up a guitar two years ago that she really considered herself a musician, and a good one at that. She plays for her friends, plucks away in her dorm room, but an open mic at a lively bar that's what she craves. If I do find a place to play, I will take advantage of it because I miss it so much and I miss entertaining people and like meeting people. As she waits out the pandemic, Hannah is taking advantage of the time, honing her craft, and she's even started writing her own songs. Enjoy this time you have to find creative outlets and don't let this year be wasted. In Missoula, Megan Mannering, MTN News. Well, Hannah is studying political science and communication at the University of Montana, but if an opportunity in showbiz comes knocking, she says she won't be able to turn that down.